Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, as you may notice, I am on a direwolf, and it looks a little bit icy in the background. And that is because on the Patreon server here today, we are going to venture into the ice cave. Now, I don't actually have any plans to go all the way through the cave on this wolf. I actually want to tame another cave wolf because right now I have two females and I'm kind of interested in getting myself another wolf, um, hopefully a male so we can get the mate boost on them. And so today I figured what we would do is venture in here, uh, fight our way through a little bit of it and try to get ourselves a really good uh, cave tamed wolf. Now we're looking for something between about level 280 and uh, probably... I'd say 295 would be the maximum we would want to do uh, with the taming bonus. Now, I do have a little, like, a few weapons on me. Um, this wolf is actually very, very good. It is max level now on this server. And then on top of that, um, I actually have frying pans with me, guys. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Um... Uh, but frying pans do knock out wolves, so I'm kind of curious to see if they will knock out the cave wolves. And actually, it looks like there's cave wolves right over there, so this might actually be very basic. Um, none of those are a super high level, but that's okay. I actually think I'm just going to run up to them and start hitting. Alright, that's a, those are already knocked out, uh, except for this guy. And they're knocked out, and so now it's just the Onik, uh, which we can kill with a pike. Or possibly because the Onik are kind of annoying, we might actually kill it um, otherwise as well. So, <laughs> I didn't expect it to work quite that well. Um, there we go, we killed the Onik. Uh, let's see, a 190, a 220, and a 290, there we go. But it is a female, so what I may do is take the implant for this one. Um, and then kill it. Now, I could obviously tame it as is, um, and then it wouldn't cost me amber, but I don't think I want a female. I'm just going to keep that one just in case, uh, just kind of to see. Now, I could obviously tame it here in the cave as well. It's a little more dangerous, but it definitely could be done. I'm going to go ahead and kill all of these. Oh, man. It takes quite a while, so it's so much... <laughs> I guess this is going to be my new advice, guys, is to uh, bring a frying pan into the cave if you are worried about being hit by the direwolves, because they barely have time to hit you once, um, and then you can knock them out. It's kind of crazy. Uh, there is a yeti there. I don't super want to mess with yetis. At least not a lot. Um, I mostly went that way because I saw the little pack of wolves and was going to check that out. But we're going to go over here, kill all of these. All right, here we go. Bunch of Onik in the way. Yeah, now as I said, uh, not super interested in going through the whole cave today. Um, could do, could do, but I'm probably going to save that for another episode. I really would like to go through the whole cave um, with some other Patreons. I think it'd be really fun to get a wolf pack and go through and do the whole cave. That would be pretty great. But just for now, I think uh, just getting a good wolf is going to be the goal for today. One high-level male wolf to go with this wolf. All right, let's kind of slowly make our way down here. I just don't want to run too fast and then have, like, a whole bunch of stuff attacking because this wolf, while it is a very high level and it is very good, and I do have a gold collar on it, um, it still doesn't have a ton of health. Like, it has 5k health, which is... It, it's okay, but it's not the best stat roll you could get on a wolf. Um, we have a lot of stam, not a lot of, a decent amount of melee, but it's it's not great. It's like 500 melee, and then, um, yeah, only 5k health. So I would really prefer to see something more like 7 or 8k on a wolf like this. It is rare to get that, but you can. That would have been ideal. I'm actually going to eat this because meat is handy. Especially in this cave where you often have to stop and heal up, I think it would be useful. Beautiful wolves. Come here. All right, wolves out. Uh, let's go down here a little bit. 
get those on it coming up at me. I don't think either of those wolves is a good level. Hmm. <laughs> Oh man, guys, if only the frying pans knocked out the Onik too. This cave would actually be really, really easy to do if you could just get your hands on a frying pan. Which is actually not that difficult, considering, uh, considering that while the archetype costs money, you can actually trade for frying pans. Like, they're a droppable item, so you could actually be trading people um, blueprints or, or crafted items or metal even for those. So it's not too bad. It's definitely doable. So a 210 and a 210. I don't think I want either of these. I'm gonna go ahead and eat them up here. All right, there is a Yeti there that we're gonna have to deal with, unfortunately. I'm actually gonna probably pull the Yeti over with my bow because I can do a lot of damage with my bow, like a thousand damage with my bow. And then I will go ahead and just kill him, finish him off. All right, let's see if we could get a headshot. Oh, beautiful. Wow, 4k damage. Actually, oh, I missed. That's all right. Okay, and now we're gonna hit him with the wolf. So that's not too bad. If you can get a headshot on these guys, it takes down most of their health. And then you just have to worry about not going so fast that they kill you before you uh, can kill them. All right, here we go. Come on. Could you, if you could come up and attack me, that'd be great, because then I wouldn't have to deal with everything else at the same time. I don't know why it's like, it's not attacking very much. There we go. All right, and then all of the Onik. The Onik are honestly the worst part of every cave. The flying, it's really all about the flying. Ugh, come here. You ridiculous Onik, come here. Oh my goodness. It's the worst, it's honestly the worst. <laughs> come here, oh my goodness. Hold still so I can kill you. Almost. I'm gonna get it on its way back, there we go. Ugh, Onik, Onik are so frustrating. I don't know that anything frustrates me more than a singular Onik. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm just looking again for more wolves. Hopefully there's a good one in here. Ooh, quite a bit of lag there. We're okay at the moment. Um, what's a level 265? I'm actually gonna... No. There we go. One hit knockout. That is amazing. Gosh, guys. I will say, I haven't used the frying pan much uh, since I did get the archetype, but I'm really glad I brought it in here today because it is a huge help. Just dealing with this Onik and then, then dealing with the wolves after and not letting them get a chance to hit you is great because their pack buff damage is just so insanely high. Like crazy, crazy high. So it's really actually kind of nice that you can just come up here, leisurely knock them out, Take a look, see if you want to get one of them, because you don't even have to, like, eat them until you've uh, decided what you want to do. So you can still revive tame them, or you could actually, you could actually probably tame them in the cave, which is um, interesting as well. So I don't know that I would recommend that, but it's definitely an option. All right, uh, I am lagging pretty bad here, so I'm going to take a short break uh, heal my wolf up and I'll bring you guys back in just a minute here so we can continue on and keep searching for a wolf I'll see you guys in just a little bit Okay guys, so we are back and there is a level 290 male dire wolf right there That is it. That is the one I definitely want so uh, We're gonna come up here and annoy all of these wolves and if I do take the implant that is totally fine by me Oh man, there's so many. I'm slowly gonna back up here. We'll have like a little string of wolves. It'll be great. Come here. That's the one I want. Oh no, I hit him twice. <sighs> well, that's all right. Uh, he shouldn't lose too much taming effectiveness. And that's even saying if we decide to keep him uh, being tamed here, which we may not actually do. How many times did you get hit? Just the once. Okay, that's not the worst ever. This wolf is coming for me as well. Come here. Come here. 245. 
There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is actually take the implant. So even though I've knocked him out in the cave um, and he's still got really good effectiveness here, I have an opportunity back at base to get myself prime meat, which I don't have here. So, um, prime meat, and I believe I actually have carno kibble too, which is these guys' preferred kibble. So I am going to go ahead and take the implant. I'm actually going to go ahead and look at his stats before I go just to make sure that they're kind of okay. Now, he probably doesn't have... Yeah, he doesn't have very good health at the moment. What else do we have? Uh, he's got actually really high stam, and everything else is kind of average. So we could get a good stat roll on this guy, but we're going to have to if we want him to be a really good wolf. He's so cute. I love that you can knock wolves out with these frying pans. Like, it's super useful. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this guy as is now that I've got his implant. Um, and yeah, I'm going to fight my way out of the cave. We'll go back to base and we will tame ourselves up a uh, cave direwolf this way. I'm super excited about it, actually. This is, I believe this is the first one I will have actually knocked out and tamed myself because I wasn't sure if the devs considered this like an exploit or not. And as far as I can tell, they are allowing it. So uh, I am going to do this since I already do have the wolf. And it is the preferred method of getting through this cave. So uh, I'm going to fight my way back out of here and I will catch you guys in a little bit when we are back at base and ready to revive and tame this guy. Okay guys, so we are back at base. Uh, we are up here on the revival platform and here is the dire wolf implant, this 290 male. Now we do also have this 290 female, but I'm just gonna revive the male for now. And instead of using Ebola, and Trink Darts, uh, I'm just gonna use this. Just like that. <laughs> oh man, the frying pan is great. Um, yeah, so now the Dire Wolf is officially out. Man, he is beautiful. He is like pure, pure black back with that brilliant white underbelly. That looks really, really good. Um, yeah, and he's completely out. So we're actually gonna go ahead and Soothing Bomb him. Just like this, and give him a couple of kibble. Now, I don't think it will take all three of those kibble. I think it's only going to take two, but just in case, um, I did bring a third one. And I do have a couple more in the fridge as well, if that's going to be a thing. But yeah, he's uh, he went down really easy. So if you guys are trying to uh, tame wolves and you happen to have access to a frying pan, um, <laughs> I strongly suggest just taking a frying pan out because it is a little bit OP. I do want to take the frying pan out and tame, like, a whole bunch of different creatures. I'm thinking it would be really fun to do, like, a mass dodo taming with a, with a frying pan or possibly um, saber taming with a frying pan. I just want to use them more in general because they are super OP and they are, they are just fantastic. It's good to have them around. All right, how close are you to eating that bite? Not too far away. Not too, too far away. <laughs> um, Alright, so I guess I will bring you guys back in just a minute uh, when this guy is all tamed up. So I will see you in just a, a couple of minutes here. Okay, guys, so this wolf is now up. Um, it actually tamed up in one kibble. I thought it was going to take two. Uh, so it actually ended up eating the other two kibble, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, it did still tame up, and I'm still pretty happy with it. And now I know that I don't have to worry too much about getting um, too many kibbles up here for these wolves because it really only takes, like, one if you have a good kibble. Anyway, so, yeah, this is the wolf. He is absolutely beautiful with that, like, white underbelly and that black top. I really think he looks good. Now, his stats are not great, so... His health is only 3k, which is really, really low, especially when you compare it to this other wolf that was also a 290 tame, um, who came out with 4158, which is much higher, but you can get way higher health on these guys, and this, he just didn't. Um, he did get a crazy high oxygen stat, which is a bummer, uh, and then he did get okay melee, which is fine, and then the stam's okay, but really the oxygen stat on him is, like, ridiculously high. 
And so it, it's definitely wasted points. Um, she has quite a bit of a high oxygen as well. Um, as probably does this one. Yeah, this one has a pretty low one compared to the other two. So it is kind of a bummer. But um, he's still a very good wolf. Uh, he's following me. Stop. Don't follow me. Still a very good wolf, and still definitely going to be something we want to uh, to keep in the cave and to go around on. I'll probably put a lot of points into health, but yeah, uh, we are going to do the ice cave at some point all the way, get the artifact, and tribute it. I prefer to do that with tribe mates, but I may also just try to solo it with one of these wolves here, just because I can. But if not, um, we definitely have a little pack here, so we could get um, some allies or some tribe mates going and do a really good cave run, which I think would be pretty exciting. Uh, whoops. Here we go. Okay, guys, so I do think that that is going to do it for today's episode. So, uh, if you did find yourself enjoying it at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.